Hi. Now, if you are like us, and you've got young children, they're going to be climbing the walls. They need to be out in the sunshine. They need to be doing activities, educational activities, of course. And what better way to do that than on a nice country ramble and a trip to the canal. Not the seaside, but a walk down the canal. Keeping our social distances, taking a little packed lunch, and uh, Bob's your uncle. Doesn't take much. Hope you enjoy this. Get out the crack on. So we're at the Yin Yang tree. And we boys going out for a bit of an adventure. So we must be on the right path if the Yin Yang's there. So do you think this is a Roman bridge? What? Might be, mightn't it? No, because Romans didn't like build make sewers like that. They did. It's not, it's not a Roman bridge. I think they invented sewerage, didn't they? Sewerage systems. Yeah, but like. Don't think it's Roman though. I think it's probably about 100 years, 120 years. They wouldn't have the pipes and everything to fill to the water. Could be Victorian that. Maybe. Anyway, we're going towards the canal hopefully, aren't we? We're hoping the canal's up here. Yep. <laughs> so when was that bridge built, James? Can you see? 1816. 18, that's over 200 years ago. One, one thousand. Hey Spider-Man, come down off there, you'll fall. James, hold that a sec. I get Spider Man. Come on, Spider Man. Ah. There you get. Oh, ah. you fall. Ah. Come on. Spider Man. Right, go underneath them. Spider Man doesn't come down. Yeah, but you fall. I'll have to stop this. See if there's a troll, Bradley. A troll. Uh, the water's too high for a troll. I'm a troll. Ha 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 ha! Uh, yeah, the Bradley, come away from there, please. The a bit too deep for a troll. Yeah, I don't think he'd be able to uh, swim all day, would he? Yeah, he's about deeper than the tree. Where's the troll? I'm not a troll. <laughs> right, go on, go through. You're not a noob either, are you? That means a beginner. You're not a noob. What happened, what, what are you called if you're not a, a beginner? Expert or oh, something, master, pro. pro. Ah, that'll be making sense, won't it? A pro. So we're walking up to Hay Hall, aren't we? This way. Come on, let's go to this side. Go to one side. Yeah. New beginner, pro, master. New beginner, pro, master. Expert. Cool. And that's basically it. So, 37 miles to Liverpool. So it is the Leeds Liverpool Canal, this, 90, isn't it? Leeds, 90 miles. Is that 80? 90 miles to Leeds. Yeah. 37 miles to Liverpool. So we're on the Leeds Liverpool Canal. And what we're going to do is we're going to go. Can we move that? Well, not, no, you can't move it at the moment, no. But. The idea is, I'll talk to you about this actually and explain how these work. I know what it is. What's it called? It's like some sort of... It's like... Got... It's a lock. Yeah. For the canal boats. Um... So this is lock 66. According to, uh, according to that. I'll tell you what, we'll go up this way because it'd be safer for Bradley, won't it? Yeah. So if we go up this one... Yeah, go up there. Go on, up you get. On our little adventure. Can I push it? No, you can't push it. You need a lock key. So if you look at this, can you see how much higher the water is on this side than it is on this side? It opens up the gates. To yeah. The, it closes the back gates and opens up the gates. So, so all the water equal, then it opens them gates. For it to go through. Yeah, so the narrow boat comes in under the bridge, it comes into here and waits inside here, inside the lock. What? And then we close that gate up there 
And once they've closed that, they open the sluice gates, which are down here. Underneath the water, there's gates underneath the water. And they slowly open them. And it's like when you let the water out of the bath, all the water then, once that's shut, all the water then drains out. So it's the same level as this side. And then they open the gates on this side. And because the water's the same on this side than it is on this side, the boat can just drive through. Isn't it clever that? Look, the bridge is making like a circle in the water. Yeah. So it always lets a little bit through and you've got a um, a bywash there, that's called a bywash on that side. And so when it gets too flooded at the top, the overspill from the top goes down the side and comes down there. That's called a bywash. Yeah, let's go up to here. There's a lovely, lovely little garden area somebody's done here at Bridge 58. Now this is another through path side. Yeah. And it says 65 there. Strange. That's 58. That was 57, wasn't it? So they're going up towards Liverpool, aren't they? These. Well, it's a nice little garden uh, area. Yeah, we're going to go up and over now, mate. Yeah. I just thought I'd film that because it's quite pretty, isn't it? I'm not taking a picture, I'm filming you. Give us a thumbs up. Yee -hee. What have you got in your, in your uh, backpack? There's a big collecting bag in there, isn't there? So At the top. Should we check that out? Yeah. Go on, then you pull it out. And what have you got inside? Water. Daddy's pop. Come on. Get your butties out then. You just found this little secluded spot. Well, it's not that secluded, but it is. It's on a day like today. And there's uh, swings been set up by people, haven't they? So the public parks are shut, but this isn't. We've got the gel and the sprays with us as ever. Um, but yeah, we were just having a wander about today. Right, do you want me to help you? So we're just uh, stopping for, for rations, aren't we? I'm eating my food. What rations have you got? I've got my gloves. All your gloves, yeah. Cheese butters, then for asking. Cheese butters, a lion bar. What fruit have you got? Grapes. You've got his grapes and his egg. Bradley's got the same. We've all got the same, haven't we? Then we have this giant... Uh, that's orange and pineapple juice, isn't it? Yeah, I really like it. It's good stuff. I really like that too. Mm -hmm. Are we having a good time, boys, outside? Yeah. What's up with you? Leave that down there. Then I'm going to save it. They make ideal little pots, don't they? Yeah, I know. For your grapes and stuff. What's inside that uh, yellow and green one? What have we got in that one? I thought... I thought, I think it's money because like I heard like rattling and that. No! What is it? Ta-da! It's chocolate pot. Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? Then I break that up into pieces, okay? We're just getting rid of our crusts, aren't we? What a lovely spot. We've never been up here before at all, have we? On this stretch of the canal. So we're doing some adventuring. Feeding one duck. It's like this car caravan park there. That's going to be one fat duck, that. Right, I think he's told all his mates, hasn't he? Yeah. They're all males, them, aren't they? Male mallard ducks. <laughs> what what, what colour are the female ducks? White, I think. Brown. The, ma the males have got the colour in because they're uh, it's the display feathers, those, so they can attract a female. 
Whereas the females, they know they've got what uh, the males want. You don't need to put on an effort, do they? It can be brown. <laughs> That's for your bike, that part. Would you live on a boat, James? Yep, Dad. Come on. So here's a mooring at the side. Water point. Boaters facilities. It's really big. That's excellent, that. I would live on that. I would. It's a beauty. It's a lovely boat, that one. You wouldn't have to pay for holidays or anything. You'd be on your holidays all the time in that, yeah. wouldn't you? Has it got a name? Some of them have, some of them have names. Take the risk or lose the or chance. Or lose the chance. What does that mean? Have a think about it. Take the risk of going... Wait, look, there's a smaller one. No, that's like a tall one. Maybe that's, that's like a little... That's cool. That's a, ha that's a houseboat. Like, maybe that's for going on holidays. Like, that's I think that's, that is somebody's house, that one. That tiny one? Yeah. Just put up like one person, like a little one person flat. Wait there, look, look at that wood carving. Carving, yeah. It's brilliant. They made it I like that. The and, like, the so there's a male and a female. My friend. Yep, boyfriend and girlfriend though. Cool down here, isn't it? Let's crack on. See it. It's not a cheetah, it's a bird if you look. There's a couple of them over there. That with a red head. Oh yeah. And it can't focus this on it. Watch these guys on the bikes. So what are you what are you doing there, mate? I'm stacking these sticks so then they can fit in the bag. They're a little bit big then, yeah. You wanna be about half that size. Watch your knees. Do one at a time. Yeah, just be careful with that. Um, so what we're doing at the moment is we're collecting firewood from the deadfall of the trees. So we're checking that it's um, it's real dead, brittle wood, dry, or as dry as you can get it. I'll snap that up, mate. You get the smaller branches off if you can. Um, so we start off with the reasonably thick ones, they're about an inch wide. And this, uh, the other stuff is the sort of a medium width, that thick pencil or half inch size. And then we get the little ones, the thinnest ones, sort of this size, as our starter wood. I'm really good at getting them off here, the starter. So the, uh, the yard's an absolute tip, as you can see. But uh, we're going to make a fire, aren't we? So what, what these are are little makeup pads folded in half and stuffed with Vaseline. And these are our fire starters, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, we use them all the time. They're really good at starting. Yeah, they catch really well, don't they? So they'll, they'll go in there in a little pile. And then using a ferrocidium rod, which our James is going to have to hold the camera for. If you just film me doing that, just film. That's it, just look, it, look at it, just keep it there. That's it. We're getting proper bushcraft now. So this is a ferrocidium rod, and we need some spark. So it's the briefest small spark like that to set us off. It's on. So we're on. And now, what we do then is we get the little sticks and we keep piling the little sticks on. Like what I was doing. Like what James was doing. Make little teepees out of them. Can you hold it as I do it? No. I can smell it. Yeah, there you can. Pretty big fire. We're hoping that they, I mean, these are all dry twigs, hopefully. So they should pretty much catch. Mini Digger's in the corner watching. He is, with envy, because he's been naughty, hasn't he? Or have you been good? Are you being good now? It's such a really good fire. There's loads of smoke coming from it. There shouldn't be loads of smoke. Well, there's not loads, but there is a little bit. There is a little bit. You just keep piling it on, making our teepee. You 
And you build up a fire, you build the fire, don't you, James? Yeah. It's getting a little bit foggy. If it's blowing towards you, move around this side. Yeah, this is a lot better. Mini digger just walked past. There's loads of different ways of making fires like this. You've got to be careful that you, you stack them okay. Really you don't go too near this fire, lad. Ready, step back. You, you build it and you feed it. That's a really smooth stick. Oh. You, you put some bigger ones on then. There, look, there's the lion stabber that we used to make. We used to make them. You can see it in the corner of the camera. Lion stabbers. I don't go to why to you. Here, take that one. I'm stepping back so then you can get the entire fire. In real life, this looks uh, like really cool. Am I tired? Because in real I'm life, it stops standing in front. It's a lot bigger, the fire in real life. And then what we need to do then is we need to build it from the inside and try and get some in down actually into the fire. Wait, Dad, remember we, we have that rod for it? We can get the coals going. We have the rod. I'm alright, it's fine. The rod's right there. Hello? Do you see it? Mm -hmm. In the corner. That Hello. little... There. The little... The fire's crackling. Shall I get the marshmallows? Not quite yet, though. No. We'll get it going first. Oh, a while yeah. to get it going, don't it's it? not that big of a fire. Oh my chest is boiling. What, stand... What's boiling? My chest. Is it? Yeah. We're standing we're standing about two feet away from it. But like it's still boiling. The warmest part is in the corner, so I'm go I'm gonna move back. I don't know why, but it smells like corn. Like corn? On the cob. Yeah. It smells like when you cook corn. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. It's boiling. I'm stepping back so I'm not that hot. Damn it, stupid corn. <laughs> Put your t-shirt back on. That base will it'll build, we'll build on that base, you see. You just keep feeding it the little bits and bobs. Too angry. Too angry. So it's all nice and it and roasted. Whoa. That's a big We can cut away now for a minute. Oh the fire's really big. That's it. She's away! Should I go and get the marshmallows and that? Yeah. Of course, a byproduct of a fire is that you get all the uh, the ash and cinder, which is good for the garden. Hey, Isn't it? Uh -oh. We're going to wrap some uh, potatoes in tin foil and get them in the ashes of that. Baby, you've had half the bag on. Stop arguing about bloody crisps. So once that's all died down into coal, coals, we're going to put some uh, potatoes in tin foil. And put them in the coals. And we'll have we'll have roast potatoes. Do you think it's ready for some burgers to be cooked on it? No, we've not got a grill for that. That's a brazier. It's not a uh, barbecue. So there we've got the uh, sweet potatoes, Mama's sweet potatoes, wrapped in tin foil. And as that dies down, they will cook. And we'll fish him out. <gasps> oh dear! 
<laughs> you fixing the roof or you're breaking the roof? It looks like moody lava. Don't do that, naughty. Yeah. Right, James, it's time for the big reveal. Oh. It's tricky. Yeah. It's hard to like, lift it up and get it perfectly timed. Yeah, look. Up she comes. Mm -hmm. Right now, the coals have died down now. There's still a bit of life in them. Oh, I but I think our sweet potatoes should be about right now, do you? Can I blow it? No. Nope. Well, they look done to me. It's piping, piping hot, that. That's it. Well, little, little, little butter in. Cooling. Mother. Probably don't need it, but we best butter's always nice, isn't it? I don't want this. Mucky paws, isn't it? I don't want that. We'll mash that up in a bit. Oh, it's sizzling, it's melting. It is. Right. Now, how's that, little farmer? It's really good. It's very hot, but it's really good. Oh, well, don't burn yourself. Just It's just straight out of the, uh, out of the coals, that, isn't it? <laughs> don't burn yourself. <laughs> I don't blame you though because it looks gorgeous. I've just had a bit and it's really, really nice, isn't it? It's very sweet and it's full of flavour. We would sort this yard out, but we've nowhere to take it all. It's all the rubbish, isn't it, that we need to get down to the tips, but the tips are shut, aren't they? That was the job for that weekend before the tips shut, wasn't it, to clear all the backyard out. Well, yeah, there we are. Apart from the cost of the butter and the actual sweet potato, which is about 60p, the two sweet potatoes that we've got there, uh, it's cost us nothing to cook, has it, that? It's very good. We went and got our own um, deadfall wood to make the fire with. We cooked it in the tin foil. Excellent stuff. Now, those sweet potatoes were the best me and the boys have ever tasted because we, we were doing it together we cooked it using um just using dead wood really the dried dead wood that you find in the woods and we collected it we made the fire we cooked the potatoes and the embers and we had a great time the lady farmer is uh, a key worker an essential key worker she does a lot of great work for uh, for children within the borough who need it, and uh, and so we spent the day together, me and the boys. It's not rocket science. It's not a chore. They're your kids, or your grandkids, or whatever they are. Look after them. Otherwise, what's it all about, Alfie? Take care of yourselves and each other. If I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. This is Guru Mafinda signing out. And remember, we love you all and love your loved ones. Good night.